Evans and welcome to Evans TV. It's hot, but the first signs of fall are here. School is underway and we're starting to finally feel a sense of normalcy. First, make sure to ring that bell on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. It's what all the cool kids are doing. Speaking of kids, I'm joined by a couple of cool kids here, Lance Snow and Liz Grant. We'll have Liz later on in the show with some cool news about a new app in the city of Evans. But we'll start with Lance, who's on the street beat. Lance, our roads are getting some serious work done, right? Well, that's right, Heather. We have three major street projects that will begin in August and September, beginning right here on 37th Street. As the pavement simmers, street projects, they're heating up in Evans. The much anticipated 37th Street resurfacing project launches at the end of August. Residents can expect a new surface, sidewalks, curb, gutter, and ADA compliant ramps. The work will take place between the railroad tracks east of Highway 85 all the way to 23rd Avenue. And hey, speaking of 23rd Avenue, a new road's on deck to be built in the fall. It'll begin at the intersection of 37th Street and 23rd Avenue. Also, 47th Avenue widening, widening construction has already begun. The city will transform this vital thoroughfare into a four-lane arterial that will alleviate traffic congestion between 31st Street and 37th Street. Now, it is important to note that 47th Avenue will be completed in two different phases. The first one will be done in 2020, and the second phase will be in the spring of 2021. Heather? Thanks, Lance. A couple of other infrastructure projects of note. The 2020 Asphalt Patch Project wrapped up in August. Here are some of the highlights. 239 asphalt patches, 80 utility manholes, 68 storm sewer cleanout valve boxes, and 63 new sanitary sewer valve boxes. Also, this is cool. Check out crews installing new street sensors. Five different intersections are getting six new sensors. That will help street lights response time at intersections. That's good news for you. Thanks to our residents for passing that 1% sales tax in April. These street projects are just the beginning as we look forward to the road ahead in Evans. National Night Out is back. The event has been rescheduled to October 6th. It was originally scheduled for August, but with COVID-19, it has been reshuffled. National Night Out is an annual event that connects the community with law enforcement. Neighborhoods throw parties and socialize with the police department. If you're interested in throwing a neighborhood party, contact Officer Teresa McClatchy at 970-590-1504. A pair of Evans officers were on hand for a major award celebration. Dakota Odegaard is now an Eagle Scout. It's the highest honor that a Boy Scout can earn and only 4% of Scouts earn it. Congratulations, Dakota. Summer is the season for home sales. If you're ready to buy a home, the city has great resources for you, such as down payment assistance and appliance rebates. Also, make sure detached garages, new roofs and decks all have the right permit. Go to EvansColorado.gov and hover over the Departments tab. Then click on Building. You'll find all the info you need. City of Evans, you have a new way to connect with the city. Liz Grant joins us now. Liz, what's this like for new residents? Hey Heather, it's a new app called QAlert. This is a great benefit for residents because it's a faster, more efficient way to get answers from the city. It gives residents access to city services from the convenience of their phone. Residents can report road issues, animal problems, they can ask questions about building permits, parking and zoning, many, many city-related issues. You can find it on iTunes or Google Play. Just search for the Evans Express app and download it. There's also a link to it on the desktop. Just go to evanscolorado.gov. You'll see the red buttons on the left side of the front page and just click the one that says QAlert Customer Service Portal. This is really a great tool for residents to connect with the city quickly and conveniently. Heather? Thanks, Liz. Also, fill out our Evans Master Plan survey. Head to evanscolorado.gov backslash master plan. It's easy and just takes a few minutes, but your feedback could have a lasting impact on the city. That's all for this week's edition of Evans TV. Make sure to subscribe to one of our YouTube to our YouTube channel and follow us on one of our social media outlets. Have a great week, City of Evans. We'll see you next week.